The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big, small, established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. It's time to give a shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international award-winning author, Mian Mosin Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, then you'll love Missing by Mian Mosin Zia. Available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries with two strangers and one target where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available in paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by Mian Mosin Zia has garnered great reviews and is even loved by Hollywood celebrities including Joanna Cassidy, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today. Order Missing by Mian Mosin Zia. Now available at Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public and the themikewagnershow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Looking at a professional website without breaking your budget? Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. It's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout-out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international war ring author Mian Molson Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mian Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mian Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and evil love and endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and so grab your copy today for Girls Missing by me and Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be here on themikewidenershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. And heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. And follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And don't forget to check out the Mike Wagner Show. Uh, and make sure you subscribe. MikeWagnerShow.com. You can also donate on PayPal and also on um, Anchor FM slash support for great gift ideas. Go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Wagner Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, including great books by me and Molson Zia, go to Amazon.com. Check out the Me and Molson Zia store and make sure you order today. We're here with a terrific gentleman who is who was born and raised in Gloucester, Massachusetts, and graduated from the University of Virginia, majored in English, pursued a law degree from William & Mary, and also... Uh, um, a member of the uh, Virginia, Maryland, and the uh, 
D.C. Uh, bars and also uh, Massachusetts as well. Spent two years as a private detective and created the Joth Proctor Fixture um, character, which we'll talk about in just a minute as uh, as Mr. Fixture is uh, portrayed as an underemployed criminal defense lawyer with uh, solo practice in Arlington, Virginia, and um, also gets into um, an interesting web. We'll talk about uh, his uh, latest book, Friends Like These, and also Friend of a Friend. And live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in beautiful downtown Virginia, he's a friend of a friend, and we got friends like these. Ladies and gentlemen, the very multi-talented author, Jim Irving. Jim, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. How are you? Well, I'm doing great. Thanks for being on board. So you are born and raised in Gloucester, Massachusetts, and you graduated from the University of Virginia in English. You also pursued a law degree, and um, you graduated from William & Mary, and you're also the member of the um, Bar Association of Virginia, Maryland, and um, District of Columbia, and also Massachusetts, and uh, spent two years as a private detective. You also created the Joth Proctor Fixer, which is based on your um, series, which is uh, Friend of a Friend and Friends Like These. And um, before getting to all that, which is um, amazing, we'd like to hear you more. But first, tell us how you first got started, Jim. Well, I uh, studied uh, English in college, as you mentioned, and a lot of that was creative writing. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was pretty serious about it, enjoyed it very much, but uh, hard to make a living doing that. Mm-hmm. Also hard to make a living as a private detective, but I took a shot at that for two years. Uh-huh. And uh, I didn't want to work at a desk right out of college. So I uh, had this opportunity and took it. And uh, it was interesting, interesting two years. Hmm. It does sound interesting. And what was that one precise moment that simply influenced you into being, into being a writer? You know, I've always been interested in writing. And, and I, when I went to the private detective business, I had in the back of my mind, I'm quite sure that, Someday these adventures might turn into stories because you spend a lot of time sitting around looking at a car or a door <laughs> and you have a lot of time to cogitate over this stuff. So I'm sure that was in my mind. It just took a long time for it to germinate. Mm-hmm. And, and also, too, that uh, you spent two years employed as a private detective in northern Virginia. You pursued wayward spouses, located skips, investigated insurance claims, handled criminal investigations. And uh, earlier, you practiced criminal law as well, too, and um, also forms the fictional account of um, Joff Proctor and uh, maybe just some interesting stories about um, wayward spouses, located skips, and um, insurance claims and uh, whatever else. And, um, you know, especially what's happening today, it seems pretty interesting. Well, you know, when I was practic- when I was a private detective, there were only three bases for divorce: cruelty, desertion, or adultery. Mm-hmm. So, if somebody wanted to get divorced, they were knocking at our door, uh, suggesting that their husband or wife was playing around, and in some cases, hoping that they were. And so, you know, we're off in the car on Saturday night, trying to find out what's going on. Mm-hmm. And that led to some, uh, you know, you never knew where you're going to end up in a case like that. Uh huh. And and. and, and, and- Go ahead. I'm sorry. Even where you'd spend the night in some cases, because you might end up in, you know, 40 miles from your home uh, watching the door all night. Mm hmm. And, and of course, um, you, you did that back in the early day as well, too. And um, also tying a social media. Do you think, um, you, you know, catching uh, cheating spouses or uh, tracing skips or um, investigating claims? Do you think that's gotten easier, um, you, you know, today or what was it, um, you know, er- earlier, like back in the day? Well, you know, we have the Internet now, and we didn't have it when I was a kid. And so I think that does change things. But uh, there's no substitute for, you know, getting hard evidence, which is usually uh, testimony or photographs. And even though we have no-fault divorce now, um, you know, adultery cases, some of my partners are divorce lawyers, and adultery cases are are still part of the business. It's It's an ugly part of the business, but nonetheless, it is. Mm-hmm. And, and and also too that um, you also created the um, the Joth Proctor uh, fixer character too. And um, how how'd you first uh, come about uh, creating a uh, Joth Proctor? Well, you know, Joth Proctor is a totally fictional character. I mean, he starts out with some of the I won't say characteristics, but some things he has in common with me. We're both from Massachusetts. We both went to UVA. We're both lawyers. We both played lacrosse. And those are things that allowed me to have a stable understanding of the of the character that I was trying to develop. And from there, I built up a fictional character based both on my imagination and, you know, tying in some of the adventures that I had, both as a, a young lawyer when I was trying a lot of cases and also as a detective. 
Mm -hmm. and, and also, too, you know, growing up, you know, you know, being a lawyer and also a detective as well, too. And uh, who, who are some of your favorite, um, you know, writers and authors, and especially, um, you know, books back in the day? Yeah, you know, there, I, I look at it that there's two kinds of detective stories. There's the, the Agatha Christie sort of school of whodunits. And then there's the, the hard-bitten school of Raymond Chandler and Dashiell Hammett, in which you've got more of a gritty environment, a kind of a noir atmosphere. And I, I've always preferred the second, those kind of uh, uh, gritty, life is tough, I'm going to be, I'm going to stick to my code no matter what type of character. And um, I like those books the best, and I've tried to make my own books, eh, you know, uh, within that model, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. and, and then how about uh, Sherlock's Hol Sherlock Holmes and, um, you know, how, how big of an influence is that? It seems like it's close to uh, Dashiell Hammett in a sense. You know, everybody thinks detective. Everybody thinks of Sherlock Holmes. I didn't catch you there, Mike. No, I'm sorry. Um, you talk about Dashiell Hammett and uh, along those lines, but Sherlock Holmes also comes to mind. Maybe some of your thoughts on that. Well, you know, Dashiell Hammett, I, I just watched I just watched uh, The Maltese Falcon last week. Oh, really? You're always trying to, you know, pick up new pointers. And it's just, a, you know, it's, it's a gray world that these people live in. And... Um, you know, the, the money's scarce, ethics are challenged, the lines between right and wrong are thin, and that's how it is in Joth's world. You know, I'm, I'm in Arlington, Virginia. It's not exactly, um, you know, um, the inner city, but there is an under uh, valley to any, any city, and you try to, or I try to find that there. You know, there's strip clubs, there's corrupt cops, there are things like that in my books, and those things also exist where I live. Mm hmm. And, and, and of course, too, that to also talk about um, your couple of books as well, too. And what are some of your favorite books growing up? We are one of the uh, authors and writers. And uh, how about some of your favorite books? So my favorite books, is that what you asked? Yes. Yeah, I would say that um, Maltese Falcon is among them. Um, some of the Raymond Chandler books, Farewell, My Lovely, uh, The Long Goodbye, The Big Sleep. Uh, those are the kind of books that I will read again and again. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like it, too. We'll talk about the books that um, you also created, too. We'll talk about Friend of a Friend and Friends Like These and more. But first, listen to The Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. It's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at SonicWebStudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, International Warring Author Mian Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mian Molson Zia. Available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mian Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and Eve 11 endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by me and Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be here on themikewidenershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash themikewidenershow. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. And heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. And follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, including great books by me and Molson Zia, go to Amazon.com slash me and Molson Zia and check out his great merchandise like t-shirts, hoodies, pop sockets, and more, and great books like Missing Once as well. Don't forget to support the Mike Widener Show at the Mike Show.com with your generous donation. And don't forget to uh support as well too on Anchor FM slash support and PayPal at the Mike Widener Show. Make sure you do so today. We're here with um lawyer, detective, and also author Jim Irving here on the Mike. Mike Widener show with the Joth Proctor uh, Fixer Mystery Series. And um, before we talk about your latest friends like these, let's talk about um, Friend of a Friend, your first book. And uh, tell us about that book and uh, how you got the ball rolling. Well, in Friend of a Friend, you uh, open up the book and Holly's dead. She mm -hmm. died on the couch and nobody knows necessarily how she died or why she died. But you find out pretty quickly that she was sitting on a very valuable piece of real property in suburban Washington, D.C. 
and either her estranged husband or her brother is going to get that property and develop it and um, become a rich person. Um, they're both willing to lie, cheat, and steal to get it. And as the story goes on, we find out or look into what else they might be willing to do to get it. Mm -hmm. and, and also, too, and you also, I also noticed in Friends Like These that you also have, um, you, you know, being the world, you're also tied with uh, Jimmy Flambeau. Now, now, is this like tied Jimmy also? Yeah. Jim, yeah. Now, is this tied to, um, you know, the, like the mob in a way or it could be like uh, maybe a conspiracy or say with um, tied to any organized crime or anything? Jimmy Flambeau is a character who's, who's developed more in the later novels, which I'm well on the way to doing. Um, he's a gambler, and gamblers um, oftentimes are involved in lending money, which can cause its own problems and issues. And Jimmy does all that stuff. And he is a guy uh, of slippery character, and he's sort of a dangerous man who infects the story throughout. Mm hmm. And, and also, too, going back to. Um with uh, with friend of a friend as well too that um, you know Hollywood was found murdered and then you also start with the investigation and everything else and um, you know also corruption and greed and um, also you had this part in and maybe just a bit more about um, a fr friend of a friend that um, you know J Joth Proctor starts coming in and then he just gets involved in a twist and turn and maybe just um, a few highlights more on um, friend of a friend and especially where it relates to uh, friends like these. Micah, you broke up a little bit there, and I couldn't quite make that out. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, you're know, talking about uh, with a friend of a friend, you know, going back to where uh, Holly died on the couch. There's corruption, greed, and then trying to figure out, and that's where Joth Proctor uh, comes in, and maybe just, you know, just a few twists and turns and everything else. What are some of the problems that uh, Joth Proctor, uh, you, know, you know, pretty much came across, and how did he solve them? Yeah. Well, there are, are twists and turns indeed, and a lot of them have to do with personalities and relationships. Uh, the, the the estranged husband of Holly happens to be Joth's best friend. They were they practiced law to, together as young lawyers before the estranged husband was disbarred, and so that relationship creates tensions and conflicts um, that you know might affect how Joth looks at things or how he's asked to look at things. It's also true that the Commonwealth's attorney, that is the local prosecutor, is Joss' ex-girlfriend, and girlfriend is probably a, a lighter term than what she really was, you know, his great love, who jilted him, and he's never gotten over it, and he's got to work with her uh, on a daily basis because he's a criminal lawyer, and she's involved in the investigation of um, this death. So, you know, there's overlays of personal stress and tension throughout the book. Mm-hmm. And, 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 also, and also, too, that um, you, you, also, you also had... Um, you know, Jade, an exotic dancer. You also have private detective D.P. Tran and strip club owner Irish uh, Dan Crowley. And um, it all sounds like it's kind of like a mob in a way, too. That's what it sounds like. So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, Irish Dan, you know, I, I used to represent the uh, local, um, how am I going to put this? I used to do work for the local strip club owner. Oh, really? Um, there, is a, there is a strip club in Arlington, and they have people there who get in trouble sometimes. And at some point in my youth, I got to be friendly with the guy, and, and he referred me a lot of uh, those cases. Hmm. When uh, one of his employees would get in trouble, maybe have a little criminal problem or something, um, I would uh, get the call and um, have a chance to defend those people. And, uh, you know, that created some interesting cases, and those are folded into these stories as well. Mm -hmm. And do you, think it, do you think in some cases it could have been like a, a conflict of interest? I'm sorry? Do you think in some of those cases it could have been a conflict of interest? Well, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> ethics are important to a lawyer, and they are um, fungible in this series of books. Um, people are ch ethically challenged throughout, and not just lawyers, but everybody. And um, that's one of the tensions that arises in these books. Do you, do you stay true to your code? Do you stay true to the law? Do you stay true to yourself? And what are the ethical challenges you face to do that? Mm -hmm. and, and of course, let's um, you know this transpires over to uh, friends like these, where um, where Joth is underemployed, criminal defense lawyer, marginal solo practice in Arlington, and um, you know he's got a unique mix of southern charm, shady business dealings, and 
Washington, D.C. Um, intrigue as well. Two, this is about the uh, suspicious death of a wife of a close friend, and he enters in a web of drug and alcohol abuse, family real estate deceit, and friends of questionable character. And, um, and of course, he is also an athlete as well, too. And it sounds like a really, really interesting mix. Drug and alcohol abuse, family real estate deceit, and um, friends of questionable character. And um, it, it almost sounds like the fact that this is what's really happening today involving like with um, drugs and also tied into real estate. Well, I hope so. I, I mean, the, the, the series, these books, don't, they stand alone, but they also present a continuing story. And I've tried to, you know, keep the characters uh, developed, the relationships developed, and the problems that affect somebody in one book, uh, you know, could carry over to the next book. And that's been part of the fun for me. Mm -hmm. And, and of course, this is also a book of a trilogy. And um, is there going to be like a a third book in the works? The third book has been written, and it's probably going to come out in the late, uh, uh, before Christmas is sort of the target. I got to kind of go over it a little bit and edit it up but uh yeah it's it's done and i'm happy with it and i'm working on the fourth okay that's great and uh would, would this have been possible to write if you didn't live in the uh, dc area i'm sorry i i said would this particular story or book have been possible to write if you didn't live in the uh, dc area or uh virginia well i mean dc is the locale because i live here and um I, you know I, I i'm not from arlington virginia but i've lived here for many years and i know it so it seemed to form a a good a locale for me. You know, it's an intriguing city. It's right outside of Washington. It's a bedroom community for government workers, but it's really expanded and grown to be a, um, a business hub. And there's a lot going on here and a, a lot and a lot that can go on here. Hmm. That's rather interesting. And um, I also forgot to ask you, coming from uh, Gloucester, Massachusetts, going to uh, Virginia, tell me about your journey going from uh, Gloucester, Mass, over to, uh, to uh, Arlington, Virginia. Yeah, not a lot of people, I don't, I don't think, follow that path, uh, you know, academically, geographically. I, um, I grew up in Massachusetts. I love Massachusetts. I spent a lot of time up there. But I got to the point where I, you know, wanted to try something else. And um, UVA seemed like a, a good spot. And it turned out that it was. I had a great experience there. I loved it. And, um, you know, you get out of school. I always intended to go back to Massachusetts. But you know, you get out of school, you get a job. Next thing you know, it's 20 years later and you're still there. So <laughs> here, here I am. <laughs> and that's something, too. And here you are, an, an amazing writer of the Joth Proctor uh, Fixer Mystery Series. And where can we find a friend of a friend and friends like these at? Well, they're available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble. And they're available as well. You can, you can check out my website, www.jamesvirving.com, and the links are there for the electronic books. All right, we certainly will do that. And uh, what's coming up for uh, Jim Irving and more? But first, listen to The Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Also brought to you by our official sponsor, The Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. We'll be back with author Jim Irving of the Joth Proctor Fixer Mystery Series after this timeout. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I wanna give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. 
Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. The Mike Widener Show can be heard on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple, and more. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn, where the Mike Widener Show interviews great guests, cool conversation, lots of laughs, coffee, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device, subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel, and follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers. And if there's one thing you can count on in these unpredictable times, it's that you're in good hands getting some great radio, courtesy of The Mike Wagner Show. We're back with author Jim Irving of the Joth Proctor Fixer Mystery here on the Mike Widener Show. And um, we, we talked about a uh, friend of a friend, friends like these, an amazing career with, um, you know, Jim being uh, a lawyer, detective, and heading into writing with um, his two books. And his uh, third one is just about done. It's in the process here. And what else can we expect from you in 2021 and beyond, Jim? Uh, what else can we expect in the future on these books? Yes. Well, I, I think that uh, these books will take will continue to take place as long as the characters remain fresh to me and as long as there are intricacies that I can explore between them. As I mentioned, there are relationships that exist, friendships, romantic relationships, uh, business ties that can be stressed and strained and pulled apart and pushed back together again. And I think the plots are important, but what's equally important to me is the relationships that I've got in these books and the struggle Joth has to sort of stay true to his own code as he deals with a world that is, you know, where the line between right and wrong is not always clear and his friends are all ethically challenged. Mm-hmm. And, and, and also just one more thing. Uh, what, what can uh, readers, um, you know, get, get out of these uh, mysteries? Well, I mean, I, th- I think it's entertainment, first of all. Um, I, I find that in writing these things, you, you learn a lot about yourself because you're exploring character. And, you know, maybe these these stories are thought provoking in terms of how the characters act and think. And it may allow people to, you know, um, raise questions in their own mind about those sorts of things. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I think uh, it also, you know, raises the question of what your personal moral code is and how or whether you always stick to it. Mm-hmm. And, and do you think a lot of these uh, detectives uh, out there stick to their moral code? Do you think the majority have uh, pretty much strayed away from them? There are a lot of detectives out there who, who don't, um, well, every, everybody has a code of some sort, and, and most people's codes are flexible. You know, the better people's codes aren't flexible. They stick to their guns no matter what. Um, and I don't think it matters what, what profession you're in, whether you have a strict code and, and stick to it or not. It matters, matters who you are. Hmm. That's rather interesting, too, and I think that's uh, well taken as well, too, Jim. And who do you consider biggest influence in your career? Well, I think it would be the teachers I had um, uh, in school. But I also, you know, when I was a private detective, I worked for two pretty colorful guys, pretty unique individuals who uh, taught me a lot about the private detective trade, taught me a lot about life, and were people who were always thinking fast. And um, in maybe good and bad ways that, that it allowed me to see a whole other side of life that I've enjoyed and put into my books. Hmm. That's rather fascinating. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Well, I'm not a person to, who, who qualifies to give anybody advice, I don't think. But, you know, I think that it's important that you have a, you know what you want in life and that you, you know, go after it with integrity. And mm-hmm. if you do that, you know, that's that's probably a pretty good rule to live by. Mm-hmm. And that's a very good rule indeed. Once again, author Jim, Jim Irving of uh, Friends Like These and Friend of a Friend as part of the Joth Proctor Fixer Mystery Series here on the Mike Widener Show. Jim, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on 2021 and beyond, especially for the third and fourth books. Don't forget to keep in touch. And once again, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase or check out your book? Well, once again, it's uh, www.jamesvirving.com. That's my website. Books are available at Barnes & Noble and um, Amazon. 
and they're electronically available through my website. And I hope that uh, people will enjoy them. We certainly will do so. Once again, Jim, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely amazing. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on 2021 Beyond. Don't forget to keep in touch. You've been absolutely terrific. Thank you very much. I very much enjoyed it. Hey, everybody. My name is Forbes Riley, and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real-life relationship. It's just, it's well-written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers Designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving and Increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1 800 303 3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Thanks for listening to the Mike Wagner Show powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show. <laughs>